Hey, what's going on guys? This is John with Average John Fishing. And uh, today we're going to be doing a, a short session. Um, I've got maybe an hour or so to do this. And we're also going to check out a new spot. So um, we had that weird cold Arctic blast yesterday. So I'm not really sure how the fish are going to be acting. I'm going to go ahead and stick with the same bait on the last video. I'm going to go with the Sluggo. It's tried and true. And uh, pretty much no matter what, I can expect it to catch something. So uh, let's get down to the water, see how it looks, and uh, let's get some fishing in. All right, so I tried going down to where I wanted to based on the satellite image. And the area over there, there's a lot of no trespassing private property signs. So unfortunately, I can't, unfortunately I can't go down there. So I found, there's this little itty bitty pond kind of cut off and there's this lay down over here I'm gonna see if I can try to get close enough make some casts a big crow up there I don't know it's pretty thick Create some room. This is probably not going to work out very well. But. A lot of laydowns, but it's impossible to cast to it. think this is gonna work out one bit there's a little spot over there let's um let's give this a little bit more of a try and then if that spot's a bust then we might do a little hop Promising.
little slime dart. We choke this thing. There we go. Okay, let's get him back in the water. There he goes. Got some pine needles on him, but he'll be fine. Alright, that little guy. Alright. So that was a chain pickerel. And he kind of tore up the sluggo, but I'm going to try it one more time. Looks fine. There's a bath. There we go. There you go. One pounder. Back cast. Sluggo does it again. Oh, there he goes. She's. Let's see if we can catch one more. Oh, this thing falls apart. A little dip in there. Oh, I knew it. Get back. Oh, he cut it. That was a pickerel. It could be such a pain in the butt to thread these, though. Go. Oh, there he is. There he goes. Should I count that? Who's right there? Barely had him in the corner of his mouth. On this side. There we go. Another pickerel. <laughs> the same, the same thing happened. <laughs> ah, it's interesting. I'm not having very good luck catching pickerel this year. That's three that I've lost.
There we go. Another pickerel. See if I can actually keep this one on. There we go. A little bit bigger than the last one, but not by much. Let go, there we go. Okay, chain pickerel. Let's get him back in the water. There he goes. There we go. On the pickerel. There's a lot of them in here. Oh! Oh! He cut the line. It's still, it's still in his mouth. And he's right there. And there he goes. Yeah, that's a problem. That sucks. I'll just rip this up. Alright, so I, there's a lake on the other side of this that there's a spot there, and I'm, I'm going to try to see if I can sneak over there for a couple of casts and then, um, and then get out of here. But, uh, give it a, give it a try. get anything. Okay, I think I'm going to end on that. Alright, so I'm going to wrap it up. We, uh, we had a pretty good day for about an hour of fishing. Didn't really get that big fish today, um, but we caught a pretty good amount of volume, and it was a three species day. Caught a largemouth bass, some chain pickerel, and a black crappie. Unfortunately, we had some issues with uh, the hook staying in on a lot of those chain pickerels. And then that one cut the line. That's the problem when you hook into chain pickerel or really anything out of that family is they got a lot of teeth. And uh, they'll fray your line. I probably should have double checked my line before that cast to make sure it wasn't too frayed. But those chain pickerel, the, one that, the ones that I caught, really inhaled it. So, uh... Really, you just rub it up against a tooth and it'll break. It's just, it is what it is. Either way, um, well, this has been John with Average John Fishing. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And uh, remember, guys, it's okay to be average. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.